we've got the Nintendo Switch today. So this just came out, and we are going to unbox this thing and see what is all inside. Uh, we've got the Neon Joy-Con, and that is Joy-Con, not Joy-Cons, at least according to Nintendo. So let's go ahead and pop this open. So right away we are right at the top. These are pretty small. <laughs> so here is our switch. Switch tablet itself. We've got some of the game card port in here. We've got a headphone jack, which I'm glad we saw the headphone jack. Uh, we've got power and volume right here. We've got USB C down here sides we got where the Joy-Con attach looks like we even have a speaker here on the back I'm sorry about that oh and then uh, I think this is our kickstand so kickstand that bad boy out like a bicycle so yeah Screen. That's about how big it is. Alright, let's sit that out to the side here. Let's open up our Joy Con. This, I believe, is our, our right Joy Con. This is a D-pad. That's crazy. That's a D-pad. This little tiny thing. This tiny thing here is a D-pad. And then the home button on here. And then some trigger buttons on the side. Connectors look kind of interesting. I'm not 100% sure how they connect in very well. Looks like there's little arrows. There just tells you where to go. Oh, and then there's a couple little buttons. There's these three little buttons here. Oh, SL and SR. So these must be little buttons you use when you take it off to the side. Oh, and there's even a button on the back. This might, I wonder if this is a release button. Not sure. Alright. Let's see what else is in this box.
Watching my cable. Nothing too exciting here. USB-C charging cord. I wonder if this is the only one or if it is uh, to give you a travel one as well since this is a travel system. Oh yeah, this is the Joy-Con grip. So you put your Joy-Con inside of this, and uh, this would be where your Joy-Con rests so that you can use it as a standard controller. Keep in mind this does not charge the Joy-Con. Um, that has been one of the interesting gripes about this, is that you actually have to buy uh, a separate charging kit if you want to have to do that. Otherwise the Joy-Con only charge when they are attached to the Switch console. actually has some buttons. I would assume maybe these are the S those SL SR buttons. Yeah, because you can press them in. Maybe we even go ahead and hook one up. So now we are we are joy conning it up. To press the little button in the back. switched. Amazing. Just a second one of those. You know, for those fun two-player activities. Got our uh, health and safety information. Please don't play games if you are going to get seizures, as usual. switch system uh, constantly updating so make sure to keep connect your console to the internet to get updates switch docking station. Looks like we just got it and not much going on here. Looks like we've got a, a compartment that folds down here in the back. You would put your HDMI, USB, and AC adapters in here. And it looks like you just kind of run the cords out on the back side via this little hole here. So, maybe let's go ahead and put this together here. We can take a look at what it looks like. So, got some instructions here on the side. So, let me plug it in. Very obvious. Set it up. So, it looks like they didn't want you to maybe go ahead and connect everything together this way instead of separating the Joy-Cons. So, 
set your other things in there. To remove, change the buttons there. And if you want some help, just go to support.nintendo.com. So, all right, so let's go ahead and connect our switch. side. Looks like we actually make sure I'm moving this right. So we'll start with this at the top. And there you have a Nintendo Switch. You ready to dock it? This is what it'll look like on your TV. Little mixed TV. Just for uh, kind of comparison's sake, brought out a PS4 controller. So there's the difference between a PS4 controller and a Switch, and also. Xbox One controller and a Switch. And another comparison to look at would be here's the standard iPhone 6. So you see the difference in screen sizes for those. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's detach the Joy Con. Let's set this thing up on its kickstand and see what it looks like. Oh. Well, this is a yoga mat, so it may not stand up very well on here. So, it failed the first test. It does not stand up on carpet or any sort of soft surface. So we'll just leave it down. Let's go ahead and put the Joy-Con into the Joy-Con remote. This uh, feels okay. It kind of feels like a weird Mad Cat's controller. The buttons are really small. I do like the offset thumbsticks, but they don't they don't quite have as much rotation as like a PS4 or Xbox One. They're a little more limited, and uh, your triggers don't depress very far either. They're pretty much just clicks. So, there you have it. This is your Nintendo Switch. Everything it comes with. So you've got your tablet and your base. Any charges inside of it. Joy-Con grip and your Joy-Con, which these seem to come in and out pretty easily. I was worried that they were going to be a little cheap or something, but they seem to come out pretty well. And I guess you know you see what the input's like when you're using those. Your Joy-Con, whatever these things are, the I just call them the Wii things because that's basically what it is. Is we're just going to kind of redo the Wii on this whole mess. So that's how these go in, and I guess I'm not doing the right one. So that's how that works. Oh, there's a little plus and minus on the back sides. Eh, that should tell you which way to go. And just your standard HDMI cable, and it only came with one charger, so I think you'll need a, a separate USB charger, a C charger, if you're going to take it on the go and travel with it. Otherwise, you're going to have to unhook your your main console power cord. So, Alright, there you have it. We will uh, have some Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild up here on the site soon enough, um, so feel free to check uh, out what we've been playing with that.